Hi friends, welcome to ADP Day World. This is Varun Ganga. Friends, in our last session, we have seen some examples how to find the cube of a given number by using Avadunam Sutra. And now in this session, we are going to have a look up one more example. Now let us see what that example is. The example that I am going to take in this session is find the cube of 121. So friends, in order to find the cube of a given number, whether it is a two digit or it is a three digit or else it is a four digit, we do have some parts of process that have to be done. So now let us see what are the parts of process. So friends, in our earlier sessions, we have seen what are the parts of process. So here coming, the first part of process that we have to do is the left part. So here in the left part, the first step what we have to do is, we have to find the nearest base of the given number. So here the given number is 121 and the nearest base for this number is 100. And after finding this base, now moving to step number 2, what we have to do is we have to find the excess with respect to the base. So here the given number is 121 and the base is 100 and when you compare these two numbers, we get 21 as excess. After finding the excess, now moving to step number 3, now what we have to do here is we have to multiply the excess with the 3. So therefore, by multiplying 21 into 3, we get 63 as the product. After getting this product, now moving to step number 4, what we have to do is, we have to add this product to the base. So therefore, by adding that is 163, we get 163 as the sum. And now, this 163 is regarded as a required left part. After completing the process of left part and moving to the process of middle part, the first step what we have to do is, Taking the left part answer as the new number, we have to find the nearest base and also the excess. So therefore, the nearest base of 163 is 100 and the excess when it is compared with the base is 63. After finding these two things, now moving to step number 2, what we have to do is, we have to multiply the excess of new sum with the actual excess. So here, the excess of new sum is 63 and the actual excess is 21. So therefore, by multiplying 63 into 21, we get 1,323 and this 1,323 is regarded as a required middle part. Now, after completing the process of middle part and moving to the process of right part, the first and the last step what we have to do is, we have to cube the actual excess what we have got. So the actual excess what we have got is 21 and by cubing the 21, we get the required right part. But the excess is a two digit number, to find its cube it becomes a bit difficult for us. So to get rid of this difficulty, I am going to use Anurupya Sutra. So friends, I hope you remember using Anurupya Sutra in finding the cube of a two digit numbers. And of course, we have seen many examples of how to use this sutra. But now here I am using this sutra very short at my best. At first, I am writing the numbers over here. So that is 2 cube, 2 square into 1, 2 into 1 square and 1 cube. After this, now I am going to place some horizontal and vertical bars like this. And after this, now I am going to write the answers of all these things. So therefore, if you do 2 cube, you get 8. And 2 square into 1, which is equal to 4 into 1, you will get 4 again. And 2 into 1 square, you get 2 into 1, which is equal to 2. And 1 cube, if you do, you get 1. After getting all the answers for these numbers, now I am going to place one more horizontal bar like this. After placing the horizontal bar, now I am going to double the number that is 4 and 2. So if you double the number 2, you get 4 and if you double the number 4, you get 8. And after that, again I am placing one more horizontal bar like this. And now I am going to add the numbers that are in these two rows. So here we don't have any other digits to add. So therefore we have to write 1 itself. And if you add the numbers 2 and 4, you get 6 and 4 and 8, you get 12. And finally here we don't have any other numbers to add up with this 8. So therefore you have to write 8 as it is over here. So friends, I think you know that in each and every part we should have only one digit. So if you observe here, we are having only one digit. And in this part we are having only one digit. But here we are having two digits. So therefore we have to take the digit in one's place that is 2 in the answer. And the excess digit that is in 10's place should be taken as carry on to the next part. And now I am placing one more horizontal ball like this and I am taking this one to the next part that is to the leftmost part and I am adding this one to each. By adding 8 plus 1 we get 9 and let me place one more horizontal ball like this and now I am writing the answers in its parts. So here I have to write 1 and whereas here I have to write 6 and here I have to write 2 and here I have to write 9 finally. 
and now by combining all these numbers we get the final answer and therefore we can say that 21 cube is equals to 9261 therefore this 9261 is regarded as a required right part now after completing all the parts of process we have got the right part the middle part and the left part now we have to write all these parts in an order like this now we have to place some horizontal and vertical bars like this So friends I think you know that we are finding the cube of a three digit number on the base is 100 so therefore we have to take only two digits in right part as well as in the middle part so if you observe the right part over here we are having 9261 which is a four digit number so therefore we have to take the last two most digits that is 6 and 1 and we have to write this in our answer like this and the excess digits that is 92 should be taken as carry on to the middle part and we have to add to it So therefore this 92 is taken as carry on to the middle part so by adding this 92 to 1323 we get the sum 1415 but this 1415 again it is a four digit number so therefore we have to take only two digits in the middle part so therefore i am taking 15 in my answer and i am sending this 14 to the next part that is to the left part and i am adding this 14 as carry on to it So therefore by adding 163 plus 14 we get 177 as a new sum and one more thing what we have to remember is in the left part we can have as many digits as we want now after completing this process that is special additions and carry ons now i am placing one more horizontal bar like this and i am writing the answers in each and every part so here we have to write 61 and here we have to write 15 and finally here we have to write 177 and therefore by combining all these parts we get the final answer and therefore we can say that 121 cube is equals to 1,771,561 so friends this is the way how you can use evadunam sutra as well as anurupya sutra when the given number is far away from the base so friends i hope that you have understood pretty well how to use this evadunam sutra so friends In the next session we will be having some more examples regarding the same concept for watching this video thank you have a nice day